what is going on everyone uh, someone's got a hold of the Nexus 4 system dump files and uh, of course they were able to get the camera and gallery files out of it uh, before I continue any further <coughs> if you want to see a demonstration of the uh, camera and gallery app in action maybe you know uh, see if it's worth your time or not I'll put a link to that video in which I demonstrate the app, both apps rather, uh, in the description below, or you can find another link in an annotation link at the ending of this video. Okay. Uh, in, in this uh, post, there's also instructions on how to get the keyboard up and running. I have done that in a completely separate video uh, because I feel that there are two totally different aspects of Android, so I cover them in two different videos. Putting them in one video would just take too long. So if you want to know how to get the Android 4.2 keyboard up and running on your device, uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well, or in another annotation link at the ending of this video. Okay, so to get the boring warnings over with, by following this video, should something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. So you'll be following this video at your own risk. I take no responsibility if your device gets damaged in any way. Uh, apparently, in order for Photos Viewer to work, which is what I assume is like the Street View camera uh, picture taking mode, apparently your device must have a gyroscope. Uh, if you're not sure if it has one or not, simply Google gyroscope with your phone model number and hopefully you'll find your answer. Uh, this has only been confirmed to work for a Jelly Bean users, so Android 4.1 or newer. Uh, there hasn't been enough ice cream sandwich users in here that have posted, oh, it works for me, or it doesn't. There's just no one that's tempted it. Uh, I don't know, everyone's kind of like, oh, does it work for ice cream sandwich users? No one's really tried, so I can't answer that. Uh, so if you're an ice cream sandwich user, don't get your hopes up, okay? Um, <clears throat> even then, for Jelly Bean users, there's no guarantee this is going to work for you once you flash the zip, okay? Uh, like I said, it's it's ripped from the 4.2 system file from the Nexus 4. It's meant for the Nexus 4. So there's no guarantee it's going to work for your device, even if you're running Jelly Bean anyway, okay? Okay, so uh, now that the boring stuff is over with, let's get into uh, installing the uh, camera and gallery app from Android 4.2. So basically, he does have instructions and links to the... Uh, Android 4.2 keyboard, but like I said, I put them in a separate video. So for now, we'll focus on the uh, camera and gallery app. So in this post, oh, and all credit goes to XDA developer Garner. Okay, I just wanted to give him credits where credit is due uh, for their great work. Uh, so what you're going to do is this, <coughs> this forum link will be in the description below. Just scroll down, click the first link available. It'll be highlighted in orange. Uh, just hit download, then just simply connect your uh, phone to your computer via USB cable, copy and paste the downloaded zip file into um, the internal memory of your phone, okay? If you have an external, that I, I, I don't recommend it, just put in your internal just for making this video easier, okay, to follow. Uh, so once it's copy and pasted onto your uh, device, you need to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, if you're not sure how to do it, please don't ask me because there are hundreds of Android devices out there. Uh, to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery is different for every device. Uh, and remember, like I said before, uh, um, your device must be rooted and have Clockwork Mod Recovery up and running. Um, but now, this this could this will change your system files. So if you want to make a backup and you're not sure how to do that with Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery makes an exact duplicate backup of your entire phone exactly the way it is. If you want to know how to do that, uh, I will put a video link in the description below on how to backup your phone. I show two methods. Uh, follow the Clockwork Mod method in that video. You just kind of fast forward it a little. Anyway, so moving along, what I'm going to do is install zip from SD card. Like I said, my camera's not focusing, so I'll read everything out loud. Uh, because I put on the internal storage of my device, I'm going to go to choose zip from internal SD card and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to look for that zip file you just downloaded which should be something like 4.2 camera underscore t04.zip select it um, go down to yes it's going to do is actually flash the um, camera and gallery app then you're going to go down to go back reboot system now and uh, that's it. It's been zipped. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not right. It's been flashed. The phone's going to restart. And there's one more step that must be done. Um, I'll, I'll show you that, guys, in just, just a second when the phone is actually finished uh, booting up. Okay, so um, after applying the update, it took my phone about three minutes to start up as if it was just installing a brand new ROM. Um, I'm not sure if that's uh, because I'm running a Cyanogen Mod 10 nightly, so, you know, it's still an experimental, or... It, 
it, it because um, it's letting the cache and stuff settle because um, it is made a, a alteration to the system directory of the device. So if it takes you a while to uh, start up your device, don't get scared. Um, it, it should be normal. But like I said, um, there's always a, a risk that you could do something wrong. So basically, uh, there's one more step that it needs to be done. Uh, according to the developer, in order for... where did I see it? Oh, in order for gallery not to force close when rendering photos via shots, change your system language to English United States. So in order to do that, go to your phone system settings, uh, language and input, at the very top hit language, and then select English USA, which I already have. Okay, so just to show you guys quickly, uh, I am running Sanjay Mod 10, which is based on Android 4.1.2 for now. Uh, I have, I, like I said, my camera is really bad. Uh, okay, there we go. We have, I have two gallery apps. One is from Sanjay Mod 10. One is from the new update I just flashed. I think the second one is the new gallery app. Okay, yeah, that's the new gallery app. Uh, I don't want to show you my photos. And I have two camera apps. One, this purple one is uh, Sanjay Mod 10, and the blue one is the new camera app okay so there you can see there's the new menu I don't want to get into this like I said watch the demo video for a better demonstration um, so that's pretty much it so if you found this video useful check out my website in the description below hit the like button it does help subscribe and thanks for watching